Hi everyone, it's Tasha. Hello out there. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope you had a happy Thanksgiving if you celebrated it. And today we are going to be talking about thrifted gift ideas. So if you're like me, you're always in and out of the thrift store. And when it comes to the holidays, I'm always keeping my eyes out just to see if I find any gifts that might fit someone on my list. And I want to say a disclaimer right up front. This doesn't work for all your gifts and I would never advocate for force fitting. Like everyone on your list has to have something just from the thrift store. I don't think that that works very well, but but you can often find brand new items at the thrift store. For instance, I found this rabbit stainless vacuum preserver for wine with two stoppers and it was only $4.99. It's normally about $20 online. It's new in the box. All I have to do is use a magic eraser to get that price off. I also found this little wine caddy and it was new. I would have to remove the tag in this case because they wrote on it, but you can find new items at the thrift store sometimes. Also, you can find items that are basically just as good as new that you could also give to someone. I found this food dome, which I love. I'm actually keeping it. I'm not giving it to anyone, but I could. So as long as these don't have a problem with mildew or mold or anything like that, just give them a good brush when you get home, give them a wash with warm water and soap and let them dry in the hot sun. They will be clean and disinfected. I think this would be really sweet to give to someone. You could give it with a little plate inside as well, but this is a nice gift. And because I think this food cloche is a particularly good gift idea that someone might not have already, I'm also going to link to one in the description box that I found on Amazon. I think this is a pretty good price, and I know you can't always find something like this at the thrift store. I also think that glassware is a pretty safe thing to re-gift um, as long as it doesn't have any scratches or wear on it. It's pretty much in the same shape as when someone bought it from a retail store, so there's really not much difference. But... This picture is beautiful. It looks a lot like the one from William Sonoma. And I also love this trifle dish. I would love this. Anyone who really hosts a lot would appreciate something like this. And it's a higher value gift for still a low cost. I think this only cost me maybe $3.99 at the thrift store. I also think that a picture like this would make a great gift. It has this nice little pomegranate detail at the top. If you've seen my previous videos, you might have seen it where I was considering getting it at the thrift store. If you're feeling uncomfortable with presenting something secondhand, you can always just add a tag that says, I found this vintage piece and I thought of you. If you're going ahead and calling attention to the fact that it's vintage, then you're putting it right out there. And I think that that's usually really well received. Something that I always keep my eye out for at thrift shops are baskets and the holiday times are no exception because they're very useful in putting together gift sets and gift baskets. So say you're going to be gifting a nice bottle of red wine to someone maybe for a hosting gift instead of just giving them the wine with like a ribbon tied around it you could place it in a basket with some tissue paper you could maybe put some pomegranates i wanted three but my grocery store only had two to show you here but you could place it with something like pomegranates or maybe jam something else along the side and tie a ribbon around the whole basket and it would be a lovely gift you could also use something like a tea towel in place of the tissue paper. I found this one at Goodwill for only, I don't know, less than a dollar. And you could take that home, wash it up in hot water, give it a press with your iron, make it really crisp and clean looking. And you could use that in the bottom of a gift basket as well. Little gift baskets like this one are useful because they're just big enough for something like some tea and some honey, or you could put a bottle of wine and some cheese and some nuts, something like that these make great gifts for bringing to a party or for a friend. I don't know about you, but I also always see tons of new body care sets at the thrift store. My Goodwill in particular has a lot of them in the case, and they are oftentimes newer ones. They are not like too old or out of date or anything like that, so you can check those. You could gift them as they are, but I like to take them out of the packaging and put them into a basket with some other items and kind of mix it up. It just looks cuter and more high-end to me. So this basket has a couple of new items in it as well as a new hand towel, but the basket itself is now part of the gift and I think it kind of elevates it because I would love to use this little basket. This sort of tray basket could also be a fun idea if you know the person pretty well and know their aesthetic. You could make them kind of a coffee table tray that's coordinated. I found this new candle. I found this vintage candle snuffer and this large book of art plus the basket itself all for about $13. Just wrap it up with some ribbon and that would make a really unique gift for someone that you know pretty well. 
I also find brand new candles at the thrift store like I mentioned as well as things like coasters. I found these coasters for only a couple of dollars each that have these real dried pressed flowers inside. I think these are very unique and would make a great gift. Another thing that you can keep your eye open for are picture frames. They're usually pretty affordable but you can find some really interesting and nice picture frames at the thrift store that you could gift. You could put a photo of you and the person in them if that is appropriate or you could put something like some art inside if you don't want to just leave it blank. So in my last video you saw me put these winter prints that I cut out of a book into these two gold frames. I think that one of these would be a really great gift for someone. They could display it with the art, they could take that out and use their own photo, whatever they want. Also, if you're lucky enough to find large-scale baskets while you're thrift shopping, keep your eyes out for those because as long as you can keep your pets out of them, they can also be used basically as gift baskets. So I'm buying a couple of throws this season. I bought one for myself. I'm buying that one on the right for my father-in-law. So instead of just sticking it into a gift bag, I could put it into this basket that I picked up for $4.99. And then for just a little bit more money, he has an extra part of his gift that he can use for books or magazines or what have you that perfectly complements this throw. Another thing that you could consider giving secondhand are books because a lot of the times books are still in their almost just like new condition when you find them at the thrift store. This children's bible, this knitting book, and these are all in very very good shape. I found this book called The Sea by Day by Day and this one is a coffee table book that has lots of pictures of the ocean inside. I think it's really pretty. And if you know your audience and know that they would like something like this, I mean, hey, this is a $35 retail price and you can get it for maybe $2. That's a great gift. Also, recipe books or books about kind of hosting sort of topics are nice. If you're going to a party, they make good hostess gifts. This one looks just like new. Another thing that you can do is you can actually bundle books and put those together if you know the person's taste. Like this one is three books of fiction that are all around the same size. I could tie a ribbon around that. That would make a really unique, fun gift for someone that likes to read. Here's another example with three works of fiction. This one is a group of three classic books. And then you could also group together groups of vintage books that you find that are maybe in the same color family or just topics that you think the person might like, but these are just really personalized, kind of more fun Christmas gifts. I also keep my eyes open throughout the year for gift wrapping materials and I looked through the craft section. I found two packs of this black ribbon. I found this Christmassy one as well as this huge thing of cotton string. So I can use all of these at Christmas and beyond. I also found this beautiful wrapping paper. It's very thick and nice. It's got silver and white stripes if you can't tell from the lighting. And this was only 99 cents. This would be at least like a $10 thing of gift wrap normally. And I'm going to be using this at Christmas. It's just one of those ways that you can save money and it's still a really nice thing. Why pay more? Something else that I like to do around the holidays is bake. I don't know about you, but I love to make cookies. I love to decorate them. So I like to make lots of different kinds of cookies and then put them together into these little gift packages, especially for my neighbors because everyone loves food, right? Consumables are a great gift idea. So throughout the year, I actually look for these Christmas tins. I come across them a lot. And so they're usually very, very cheap. And I try and be picky and only get the ones that I think are really cute. So personally, I like to look for the ones that have a little bit more of a vintage scene on them. And I collect these throughout the year. I package them up with different kinds of cookies and that makes a great gift for my neighbors and for maybe unexpected gifts for people that you're going to see that you didn't know that you were going to see. I also get larger ones and put together big ones for my closer friends. And sometimes people give me the tens back and sometimes they don't, that's fine. It's part of their gift. You can also gift baked goods like cookies on little trays. You could maybe find those at the thrift store. I found these Santa trays that were really pretty and that makes a nice addition to the gift of whatever you've baked them. Now they also have this beautiful tray. I look for tins, I look for trays, and I also have used these little paper plate baskets to put cookies on and kind of wrap them up with tissue paper or with plastic wrap. 
thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video today and it's given you a couple of ideas for thrifted gifts. If you liked the video, please hit like. If you haven't subscribed yet and you want to see more of these in your feed, that would be great. Hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment, and I will see you at the next video.